الحمد لله على تقديره وحسن ما صرف من أموره الحمد لله بحسن صنعه شكرا على إعطائه ومنعه خوف من يجهل من عقابه وأطمع العامل في ثوابه فضلنا بالعقل والتدبير وعلم ما يأتي من الأمور يا خير من يدعى لدى الشداء ومن له الشكر مع المحام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته to all the viewers of this channel to brother Muhammad Al Andalusi founder of AndalusInstitute.com I'm here in the middle of the desert uh, you know I like to to come here uh, you know to just think mashallah and this is something that I wanted to talk to you guys about today uh, which is sometimes being too close from the picture that you can barely see it sometimes you are so close from the picture that you can barely see it and the reason why i'm saying this is because when you you know you have the opportunity to come to to places like this and just like just listen just it's nothing right and and you can you can you probably know that when you when you have a routine, right? Because most of you guys, I know that you guys probably live in, in the West, right? In societies where, where, where everything runs fast. Whether it's in New York, whether it's in, I mean, in New York, in the United States, whether it's in, 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 in Europe, whatever it is, things go fast. And, you know, you wake up, next thing you know, it's night already. And you barely have time to think about the important things that you need to, to do in this dunya, in this world, in order for you to be chilling on the next world, right? And, and you know, going back to what I said, sometimes you're so close from the picture that you can't see it properly. And how many of us, many times, you know, most of the times is after, after or during Ramadan. You think, subhanAllah, I, I really need to learn Arabic, man. Taraweeh is getting, is getting long. Or you might even not even go to Taraweeh just because it gets long. And you think, yeah, 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 I need to, I need to learn Arabic. I mean, this is, a, this is a, something that any Muslim should aspire for. Like, I can understand. Once you know Arabic, you can understand why some scholars, like, for example, Sheikh Lissam Taymiyyah would have and hold the opinion that learning the Arabic language is obligatory because of once you learn it you know because of how easy it is you can literally do it in one year and and how much was you missing on not knowing it not knowing the Arabic language right so you know and I'm pretty sure that anyone who's listening to this right now will agree that yes learning the Arabic language is something that I want to do. You're probably thinking like that. But it's just, it's just, it's just the routine, man. Like, nine to five, work, studies. You know, my parents, they tell me to get this degree, why not? And that's one of the reasons why in AndalusInstitute.com, we have set it up in a way where, where you can learn Arabic in 15 months with two books and one hour invested per day. Right, and I even tell my students, make sure you have at least one day of rest. And one hour per day, I mean, it's just one hour per day. When you, and this is actually something that we talk about in, in, in the webinars we hold. And by the way, guys, if you, if you guys want to, to uh, if you guys haven't attended yet, definitely, I mean, I don't know what you're doing. You definitely need to attend. So in the description of, uh, of, of this video, you will probably find the, the link to register. So register for the next webinar. It's a webinar where we talk, it's free. It's a webinar where we talk about how to become fluent in Arabic in 15 months uh, with two books and not one hour per day. It's a two hour webinar. I walk you through everything. And you will see at the end of it how simple it is for you to, to, to achieve this goal of learning the Arabic language. But going back to what I was saying, like sometimes you're too close from the picture that you, that you see it blurry. You can't even see it properly. And what do I mean by that? Like, just think about your routine right now, and you probably will, will agree with this. Because 
when I was working a a, a nine to five job in um, in London, um, I remember like you know just chasing chasing the money first of all and and not having time for anything else, not even family, not even myself, right? Not even myself. And it was literally you wake up in the morning, you 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 are in the routine, you get out of the, of the routine in the night to go back to sleep, to wake up again and do exactly the same thing. This is why some people, they, they, they describe it like, like the hamster when he's in the wheel, right? So, so one thing about us human beings is that we are creatures of habit. We are creatures of habit. And, and usually it takes for a person to adapt to a habit or drop a habit 21 days to 30, to 30 days or 31 days, right? And and whether, it, whether the habit is good or whether the habit is bad, it will take you the same time. And, and the habit of, of doing tasweef, of doing procrastination, of learning the Arabic language, when you know it's really important for you, that's a really, that's a really, really bad habit. And sometimes you need something to break that habit in order for you to, okay, no, now I really will start, like, for real, like, you see? So this is one of the reasons, you know, knowing all of this and knowing all the how, you know, the brain of the, of the human being works, this is something we, we tackle as well. In our program in Arabic like an Arab, uh, there's a four-hour introduction for every student to go over to, to mainly avoid these things. Because, yeah, when you check, when you, when you think about it in the beginning, you don't need it. You might say, no, 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 I'm really hyped up right now. Like, I'm, I'm going to do it this time. But when you get into it, you know, motivation is like Iman. It's not reliable. It comes, it goes. So you lose motivation. And when motivation, and when you lose motivation, if, if discipline is not there, then that goal of yours that you were trying to attain, that's it. It's not, you're not chasing it anymore. And if there is no discipline, you cannot go back to what you was doing. So what I'm saying with this is that you know, sometimes you need to come to places like this, whether it's in, in your room. You know, you can replicate this in your room. Like, just turn off the light, right? Wake up in a, wake up in a night where everyone's sleeping and, and just think and look at your life. Think about you, the real goal that you want in your life. What is the real goal that you want in your life? What do you really want to do? What do you want to do once you die? What, this, what state would you like to... If you, if you were to write your Wikipedia page, what, what would he say, right? And uh, I think it's a, it's a dirt bike around here. But anyways, I will finish this video, guys, by, by telling you guys and advising you to, to uh, you know, to, to step away from the image. Step away from the picture and look at it. Look at, look at your life. Where do you want to be? And is the thing that you are doing on a daily basis bringing you there? And is the thing that you are doing, is the thing that you are doing uh, on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, on a year basis, is your yearly goal this year helping you to go towards and achieve the goal, your life goal, where you want to get? Baib, and then inshallah, yo, it's really a quad in here, in the middle of the desert. So yeah, talking about silence, sometimes silence my, you know, my goal. So this is why I'm saying like, once you get, once you, once you uh, have the opportunity, the little amount of, of opportunity, little time that you might find to do so, you gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta, um, what's the word? You gotta take pro take benefit of it. You gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta take it, and you gotta go with it and run with it. Taib, so, so these the the benefit that I want to share with you guys today. You know, step away from the picture, and and look at your the whole the whole picture from far away. Look at yourself from far away. Sometimes you're too into the routine that you cannot see the picture clearly. You see it blurry. So step away and think about it. Are, is what you're doing right now helping you to, to go towards where you want to get? 